Hi Angie, today I would like to talk to you about a book called The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. And this, as you probably know, is a classic children's story from Britain, written way back in the day. <laughs> and to help me talk about Wind in the Willows today, I have Mortimer the Hedgehog. Say hello. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mortimer is an African pygmy hedgehog and he would never ever ever survive in the forests of England ever. So I know that it's a little inaccurate but he's the closest thing to a woodland animal that I have and he really 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 wanted to help and he's so cute. Oh, put him over here. Yeah. Hey, okay. look cute. Look cute for the camera. Here we go. Yeah. The story is about um, a mole and a rat and a toad and a badger and it starts with mole and he is doing spring cleaning in his hole one day and he decides to go out and explore the world where he meets a rat who is a river rat and boats along the river every day and mole just thinks this is the best thing ever and decides to live with rat and lead an exciting life. I guess what I really have to say about this book is that it is one of the most charming books I've ever come across. I think the thing that makes it readable for children and for adults is that it has a really simple, fun story that kids can get into, right? So it has, you know, talking animals, um, you know, having adventures, which is, you know, definitely something that children want to read about, but the writing is just very like elegant and sophisticated while still being simple um it's just and there are moments where the writing is just like really beautiful even though you're reading about something light and fun um oh you're gonna poop aren't you oh gross important thing to note hedgehogs poop on everything they don't care they just they just poop wherever they want yeah, he's just, he's just pooping away. I'll just clean all that up. That'll be fun. Um, probably my favorite thing is when they call him the emancipated mole, which I thought was the cutest thing ever. It's emancipated because he went off on his own. I have so much poop to clean up. Anyway, this video is turning a lot into something a lot less about wind and wolves and a lot more about hedgehog poop in real life, which is not what I had intended. I suppose I can describe the characters a bit. Um, Mole is a very, very sweet, nice, shy, sometimes slightly foolish little animal. Um, he has like a really, really big heart and, you know, lots of feelings. Um, Rat is probably the brains of the operation most of the time. Uh, he... Rat is, um... He's adventurous, but he has like a good, solid, you know, foundation. He's not flighty. He's pretty smart. Um, he's always around to help people, and um, he's Mole's best friend, and always trying to help him out, and make sure that he's happy and um, safe. And Badger is the wise old, curmudgeonly animal. Um, he doesn't get out a whole lot, he doesn't really like to leave his house and in the, in the forest, um, but when he does, he's like, he's, you know, he's very wise and he's deep down like a really nice guy and he always wants to help people, he just really wants his space to be respected. And Toad is the silly, flighty, irresponsible character who goes off and gets in all sorts of trouble and usually his friends have to pull him out and keep trying to talk sense to him, but of course he doesn't really listen. Oh, because that's just how he is. Um, I would definitely recommend this book. It's like drinking a really good cup of Earl Grey with sugar. It's like the sugar gives it that, that like sweet, enjoyable taste, but there's still like, you know, that hint of bergamot that gives the tea leaves that awesome complexity. So yeah, it's a good book, and uh, you should read it. Now I'm gonna go put this hedgehog back and clean all the poop. I would have him say goodbye, but he doesn't really want to. He wants to poop instead. So yeah, goodbye!